Hi, and welcome back to Teaching Crypto. This is Mr. FOMO. Today, we have an exciting crypto deep dive into Quant and its groundbreaking advancements in the world of blockchain interoperability. Specifically, we'll be diving into their game-changing technology, Overledger, their ISO 20022 compliance, and exploring the potential impact on mass adoption, global payments, and the future price action of the Quant token. So strap in, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's get after it. For those of you new to the crypto space, let's start with a quick introduction into Quant. Quant is a leading blockchain project with a focus on interoperability. Designed to connect and facilitate communication between different blockchains and networks. In simple terms, it's like a universal bridge that enables seamless interaction between various decentralized ecosystems. Their founder, Gilbert Verdion, is a legitimate leader with loads of relevant experience. He worked as a chief technology officer, chief information officer, and chief information security officer with companies like MasterCard, Vocalink, PricewaterhouseCooper, BP, and HSBC, just to name a few. He has also worked in government and helped craft ISO TC307 in 2015, which is a similar standard to ISO 20022. This man and his team are no slouches. <clears throat> now the magic of Quant lies in its groundbreaking technology called Overledger. Overledger acts as the world's first blockchain operating system that allows enterprises to build decentralized applications or dApps across multiple blockchains effortlessly. This means that data, value, and information can freely flow between different networks, breaking down the siloed barriers that have hindered blockchain adoption for years. Remember, we talked about crypto addresses being like email addresses that send money. Well, in the current state of crypto, those using Bitcoin can only transact with others using Bitcoin. It would be like only being able to send an email to other people using the same platform like Gmail, instead of being able to send uh, emails to any platform or to any email on any platform. Quant allows blockchains to send money from one to the next while keeping track of the transactions and updating each chain with Overledger. This allows them to go from chain to chain without worrying about changing the token that they're using. So no more Bitcoin to Bitcoin only transactions with Quant. This allows companies to build and collect revenue on multiple chains, eliminating one of the most glaring problems in the crypto industry to date. One of the significant milestones for Quant and Overledger is ISO 20022 compliance. ISO 20022 is a global standard for financial messaging that facilitates seamless and secure communication between financial institutions. By being ISO 20022 compliant, Quant opens up vast opportunities for real world use cases, particularly in the financial sector. Look at this graphic from altcoininvestor.com. Look at all the companies on this page and look at where Quant and Overledger are positioned. They are at the center of the new global financial system. With Quant's interoperability and ISO 20022 compliance, the potential for mass adoption of blockchain technology grows significantly. Traditional financial institutions can now integrate their legacy systems with blockchain solutions, enabling faster, cheaper, and more secure transactions. This means faster cross-border payments, reduced settlement times, and increased efficiency in various industries. The implications of Quant's Overledger and ISO 20022 compliance extend far beyond financial institutions. We're talking about revolutionizing global payments. Imagine sending money across borders instantaneously, 
with reduced fees, without the need for multiple intermediaries, and without the need to perform multiple complicated transactions or swaps. Quant's technology has the potential to disrupt the traditional banking system and the crypto industry, and it could pave the way for a new era in decentralized finance. Now let's talk about the potential impact on the Quant token itself. As the demand for overledger grows, so does the utility and value of the Quant token. Additionally, Quant has a max supply below 15 million. That's far less than the max supply of Bitcoin at 31 million, even with the Satoshis lost forever to forgotten keys in landfills. With more users and enterprises leveraging Quant services, this means increased token usage and demand. That coupled with the limited supply potentially leading to a could potentially lead to a positive effect on the token's price action. Conservatively, Quant could easily get back to all-time highs. That would be somewhere between a 4 and a 5x from here. But it is capable of reaching way beyond considering its relatively low market cap, extremely low supply, positioning at the center of the new financial system, and the approaching crypto bull run. Of course, it is essential to understand that the cryptocurrency market is highly volatile and influenced by various factors. While Quant's technological advancements may fuel bullish sentiment, market sentiment, regulatory developments, and overall market conditions can also play a role in the token's future price action. Quant, however, does not have a high concentration of whale wallets outside of its richest 10 wallets and even they only own less than 30% of the total supply. This should result in a decreased sell pressure compared to other cryptocurrency during pumps, which will be good for your portfolio. We here at Teaching Crypto think Quant is a force to be reckoned with in the blockchain space. Thanks to its revolutionary overledger technology, ISO 20022 compliance. The potential for mass adoption, the transformation of global payments, and the future price action of the Quant token all depend on how successfully Quant can continue to execute its vision and adapt to the ever-changing crypto landscape. However, we are currently very high on Quant. We think that you should take a good look at this intriguing, intriguing crypto project. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates on cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. As always, remember to do your own research before investing in any crypto project. For AZ Crypto, this is Mr. FOMO. We will see you next time on Teaching Crypto.